Hi everyone, this is just a quick video before I get going on the first of the blonde fur texture uh, focus tutorials. What I wanted to do, and I'm really hoping that this picks it up on the camera, okay, I wanted to just talk quickly about um, choice of where you use your reference from and what you work from when you're doing a piece. Now, this isn't showing up as brightly as I thought. What I'll try and do is I will um, grab the images and pop them in alongside this one on the screen um, when I edit it and then you'll see very clearly the difference. Now this is the image on my screen. Now through, again because I'm looking through another camera lens now, it's looking pinker than it does on the screen. On the screen this golden retriever's fur is looking very golden, very much ochre orange undertones. Now. I thought, oh, I'm going to work from a printout, so I printed it off. And can you see how the main image is quite warm and golden? The printout of it, and this is on glossy, high quality photo paper using an Epson quality printer. Can you see it's pinks? It's very cold, it's pinks and blues, and almost whites and cold greys. Let's put the two up beside each other and see if you can see there, like there, that's much better. So you can see here, really golden orange on the screen. And if I slide this in, you see how pink and blue it is in comparison. And there you can see it much better. So, it's one of those things where it's on the screen, that is a little bit too bright. I could tone it down a little bit more, but I've got a feeling now that even though this is a beautiful coloration in the printout it's not the right one to go for to portray the golden retriever because it is much more golden in reality so this is one of those things is you've really got to be careful of what image you work on work from and why and when you make that decision so if I'm going to work from that one from the screen I have to make sure because what I'm going to do is pull it up on my tablet as well because I'll I'm not going to work from a laptop, I'll work from a tablet, so on the tablet screen it might look slightly different again, but whichever one I choose to work from I have to commit start to finish and work from the same source image. So if I worked from the printout I'd work start to finish from that printout, if I work from the laptop start to finish from that laptop, not a different laptop, or if I work from my tablet I'm going to work from a Microsoft Surface then I need to make sure I work from that one start to finish as well. So I just thought I'd drop this little hints and tips video in there before I get going um, because it just, again, it was one of those, another really important little lesson that I needed you guys to see. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, if you're watching on YouTube at a later date and you've learned something from this one, please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe before you go. Thank you very much.